So this time we got a Sword Legendary. Um, it's released at the same time as the Dragon one, the uh, Georgia. Go check out the video, you know, if you guys want to hear my opinions on Georgia. So we got Wilfred. He's basically an old card uh, here last time. And interestingly, his voice actor actually is pretty, pretty popular as well in the Japanese version, which is the, uh, his Detective Conan and also Char from the original Gundam. Not all of you are Gundam fans, aren't you? So his name that I got from uh, you know our good friend uh, Google Translate is Aozura Socho uh, Wilfrito. Basically saying like uh, Blue Sky President. I'm probably gonna get like a lot of uh, wrong thing for this, but that's like the closest thing I got. So uh, his effect. All right. So I actually have to read to you guys because you guys can't read Japanese. Neither can I. But this is like trusted sources. So. Um, and you guys, if you guys don't believe it, basically the first effect literally is you evolve this card without using evil point. That, that's it. There's no condition. You, you don't need uh, to play another follower like Alicia. You don't need to uh, wait a certain turn. No. He literally says when you evolve this card, you don't use evil point. But obviously with the same condition where you can only evil once per turn, you can only evil it during the turn that has evil point. That, that kind of restriction is a normal restriction. And then you must be wondering the uh, evil effect, right? So uh, when he evil, he doesn't go to a, a six six stat line. He becomes a five five. Um, so his effect is that when you evolve him, if your entire deck only consists of officer class, officers, alright, uh, except uh, this card because you're gonna play three of them. It's, it's basically like um, Jerry's condition. Give all followers in the deck plus two two stat line. So it's basically like Pompous Prince, but a bit more buffer and much more conditional. Alright, uh, I have a lot of questions, but... Alright, first thing off, yes, he's a commander, I forgot to mention it, he's a... He's, look at him, look at him, he, he's, he's... He literally wipes commander, if you guys can't tell he's a commander, I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. So, uh, talking about important stuff, the first effect, free evolve, great, that, that's amazing. If you're talking about like... Um, having a free evolve without using an evil point, that's pretty good, right? But the problem is that if you compare to other commander cards, we have Amelia, Hata Nahata, Alaska, even Reinhardt. So like all those cards, they, they have free evolve as well. They are conditional, but they have more benefits. Because uh, when we talk about uh, Wilfred's uh, benefit, <laughs> uh, side games, why? So his problem is that you are forced to play a deck without anything else but officer what this means is that you can't play neutral cards as well as long as the translation provided is correct so you can't play well uh you can't play Farron. that's like a very big yikes already you can't play all these amazing commanders that i just mentioned uh he is basically his own deck you you can't do anything yes he has a free evolve that's great yes giving a, a plus two two is great for like your step fast the step fast suddenly becomes a three three yes a plus two two is not bad but again, like the uh, similarity here is Pompous Prince. Do you actually use Pompous Prince that much? I don't know what implication uh, side games want to do with him. The problem with uh, creating this current card is that you are restricted to build only followers and like the benefit isn't that great since right now Sword want to capitalize on Rally and the best Rally card is Farron unfortunately. So you have to capitalize on Farron. Um, it's interesting to see if anyone can build a deck without relying on the rally mechanic and Farron and just purely on the officer's uh, you know, trait itself. My only problem is that you're only allowed to play him. So like a lot, a lot of cards just get blown out of the window. I can't think of any like great officers right off the bat that benefits from this besides uh, Stefa. Not much you can do. What? Uh, you have Barney and Baron, I guess, that becomes a 7-7. Seven, seven. You have Ariad that becomes a 6-7. Seven. You have the Lancer that becomes a 5-4, but you won't be able to trigger the uh, Two commander condition because you're literally playing three commander in the entire deck and you won't be able to fetch it and like even Gelt like yeah sure I guess you can run Gelt but for the early game just to search him out becomes a 5-5 five five. I, I, I don't know how to feel about this card like the other issue is that this card only buff like the followers in the deck not on the field so he's kind of like uh, oh if I don't draw him or I don't draw Gelt my entire deck is useless so he's also like a standalone kind of card I don't like this kind of cards usually uh my my thoughts initially right now all i can think of is uh, this is a very memeable card not even like gonna be used just because of his free evil the free evil doesn't matter like i mentioned 
You have so many better cards and commander that basically free evolve with extra benefits. So there's no reason to really you are evolve at this point. You're only gonna play him because I know the second condition is great. There's a deck that only consists of officers, so you can actually run him. He's basically like a legendary royal banner, but the benefit waits out later. I would probably give him two out of five. This is like a very low rating because like this kind of card usually are meme. I, I really don't want to give him one out of five because like uh, that would be too harsh because it, it's still initial thoughts. I am still like trying to gather what what can you do with this card. I mean, there's not much you can do with this card. I say again, the restriction is that you're not allowed to play other commanders, you're not allowed to play neutral. So, yeah, it's not that great initially, even now. Like, I can't even think of like, what support can you give to like actually bump it up. Maybe some OP broken uh, officers? But even then, will it really like um, outweigh playing Amelia? I don't know how. Like, my only reasoning is that if you guys can find a reason to outweigh Amelia, because Amelia is such a core card in sword right now, then sure I can, you you guys can argue. But as long as you guys can't argue that, oh, playing a certain deck full of officers can outweigh the benefit of Amelia, then no, the deck is terrible. Another thing we need to clarify is that if let's say cards like uh, Patrick, Officer, and Natura, does it count? I assume it doesn't count based on the translation literally saying all followers have to be officer I just am assuming that but I don't know even then will Patrick be played I don't think Patrick will be played another interesting fact is that uh, this leader effect or like effect that okay it's not leader effect sorry this effect literally can be stacked meaning you can turn for Walfrid turn 5 Walfrid and then make everyone plus 4 4 plus 4 4 is kind of insane a 5 5 quick blader 1 pp 5 5 wow I mean, the higher potential is there, I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, that's pretty nuts. Alright, that's it for this video, I'll probably be spamming a lot of this reaction video. This is the one where I'm very very like strongly uh, opinionated that this card is bad, like, like there's no way this card is going to be good, I am very convinced this is a meme. So uh, you know, like, subscribe if you want to hear more of my shitty opinion, maybe I'm wrong, you guys can you know, clip and meet the shit out of me. Uh, other than that, thank you very much, goodbye.